Hey, down here. Well, finally back with another stream. Um, and guess what I got? Let me show you. Let me think. Okay, I had to think about where. Uh, there we go. There it is. <clears throat> yep, I finally did it. I got that uh, eight core AMD FX processor. It's an 8300. <clears throat> and I got. Uh, 8 gig of RAM for the machine for mom's machine mom's upgrade PC upgrade it's gonna be a real upgrade now and uh, <coughs> let me switch over to my <coughs> um, other mic <coughs> get on the wireless <coughs> so that I can uh, move around get over there and I'll show you the box and stuff in my endoscope there. Um, let's see. <coughs> now, why did that start moving? Well, I guess it's moving a little bit. <coughs> I haven't moved over there and done anything yet. So, um, I've got it set up to where I can try and show the numbers. There's so much reflection in here, though. And uh, there's the numbers. Makes it worse instead of better. Oh, I'm banging into the. Why does that make it worse? You would think that if I put something between it and the. Should have practiced doing that, shouldn't I? Anyway, I mean, it's not the biggest thing in the world to show those numbers, but that's the one I got, the 8300. Uh, and actually, the numbers that of the one that I got are just a couple of the last numbers there, the FD8, you know, FDA300, WM, WBKHK, I can't see it that good either. Um, that's actually the OEM, and I was, kind of, I was kind of thought, oh no, I'm gonna have to send this back to make sure it's in the warranty. But I think it is. Um, I did forget to really do some more research. It, some things, some products, not necessarily. I don't think AMD is uh, that well. Um, lots of products, actually, not some products. A lot of products. If you don't get it from an authorized reseller, then they won't honor the warranty if it's an OEM. I've been finding that. I've been reading that in the comments of stuff that I've been, you know, looking at lately. So, uh, of course, I don't uh, don't expect it to be bad anyway. But uh, well, when you do that, it just gets even worse. This is just the the light in the ceiling. You know, it's not. Uh, but there is a, it, it's still in the box and there's a plastic, it's in plastic. And I don't want to, uh, I'll take it out of the box. I've already had it out once, but I don't want to, uh, probably I'm not, I don't believe I'll take it out of the plastic because, let me switch to this, you can see what I'm doing. And that's my memory. I'm going to open it up in a minute here. I haven't opened it yet. But, um, yeah, I see it's in, a, it's in this little plastic holder. And I don't want, I don't want to expose the pins to, you know, getting bent by accident or getting dirt in there or something. Or, no, I don't have any dirt in here necessarily, but I got dust and stuff. But, uh, what is that, a sticker or something? I was just wondering if I could lean it in a way where it could be seen better. But, yeah, I'm sure you could see it a little better. Well, I think you could. Yeah. The, the processor itself is so shiny that you might not. It's got a manual that came with it that the words are so tiny. Look at there. That's not even close enough and big enough to read. The whole thing's like that. Heck, that's not even the smallest of. Look at that. 
I can't even tell. There's different languages on each page. I looked at it with this and with the magnifying glass, and it comes with a. I didn't. I thought that I thought it didn't come with a CPU fan or cool or heatsink, but it did. It came with that. And uh, but the one I have is way bigger, and so I think it'll be better. So that'll be the one I plan on using. Let's figure out how to get this back in the box. Let's see. I guess that was it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I'm excited to get this, start putting that together, but I don't know if I'll start it today. Uh, the re I haven't been, let's see, what was it? I think it was the 10th, the last time I worked on this is uh, the 19th, and it was the 10th the last time I worked on her machine. Uh, I, I hadn't been feeling good. I, I had one, I, I mean, really weird. Uh, I, I haven't been feeling good, and I was, I, some, you know, I, I'll keep on working unless I get so bad I can't think at all. But really what happened, uh, well, what happened was the 10th, I did... How many? I did a bunch of videos. I think I counted up. I did five hours of videos. I did three or four videos or something. Maybe I did five videos. I can't even remember. No, I don't think I did five videos. But uh, let's get out of the... Well, let's just leave the endoscope there because I'm probably going to show this on it. And I went to sleep. And, of course, I knew I was really tired and I had stayed up too long. I'm not sure how long I stayed up because I didn't pay enough attention. This is glued up together so much that I don't want to cut... Okay, I can feel the uh, memory itself in there, so I'm just going to cut the bag. I like to save them. Uh, I've been lots of, over the years, there's been plenty of times where a bag or a good bag or, used to you could save them, open them, and then reseal them. Can't really do that anymore. They got this stick them that really sticks, but uh, I didn't get it quite far enough. Those are some good scissors. I only got them not too long ago. I like those scissors. Okay, so um, I wanted to open it on the video in case, you know, since it came in a bag, if there's anything that had been squished and broke or anything, I wanted to uh, show it. But it's all good. Now, what I ended up getting in the way of memory is. Uh, says HyperX on there and I actually have forgotten I'm using this to see what it says on there warranty eight gigabyte DDR3 1600 CL um, two four gigabyte sticks is what it is Fury you, if you're familiar with memory, you probably already know what it is, and I've forgotten the brand name. Fury Viper. I'll probably say right on there. I don't know if I've still got it upside down. That one doesn't show. I'll get it out of here in a second. Boy, I'll tell you what. And I don't not. I do not have the light on on my cat. My my thing, my endoscope. It's the uh, just the light in the room causing that. So let me get my. Uh, let's see. I'll just take the scissors and cut that side and leave. I always leave them where I can open them and close them. I, I like them to not completely fall apart from each other. These plastic things. Uh, hopefully, this is one that opens easily. You know, you don't have to tear it up to get it open. Usually memory will open it. Yeah, open and close nicely. Okay, there we go. Now, this, it's, oh, it's got a sticker with it too. I guess it would be fun to stick that on the side of your case, maybe. But, um, now you can really see it. It's got a cooler some, I noticed one brand that, uh, you know, coolers should be, 
you'd think it would be aluminum for, for it to be a good heat sink, you know. And I saw one brand that I was starting to buy, and then I saw that one of them came with this broke, and they said it was plastic. And I'm like, well, then it ain't a cooler. It's just a, it's a cooler, all right. It's trying to make it look cooler, but that's it. It ain't making it any cooler. So that's what these things are supposed to be. They're not supposed to be glam covers. They're supposed to be heat sinks. Uh, to tell you the truth, it feels like plastic to me. But I've actually never had memory <laughs> get too hot. For, and I'm not going to be overclocking. If I, I might, I'll try overclocking it a little bit, maybe. Cause I got a 650 watt power supply, and uh, the big cooler, you know, it's a really big one. And it'll be fine on this motherboard. It would barely even fit on her motherboard, but this one's got more space. But uh, seems that I can't get. close enough get close enough getting closer and it blurs so I can't believe I can't remember I'm not seeing the I can't believe I can't see the brand name on here I can go look on my it's probably right in front of my face and I just don't see it of course, like I said a minute ago, uh, let's see. A lot of times these only go one way in there. <clears throat> but, uh, The prices were okay, you know, they weren't anything super cheap or super expensive. I'm going to put these papers in there. Let's look at, let's go ahead and give the, uh, oh man, this is another one you can't read. Upside down. Kingston, there it is. Kingston memory. Now, I've used a lot of Kingston memory and never had any go out that I can remember. Uh, so I thought. And that other one, I think that one was Cors Corsair that I thought, oh, I've always heard good things about Corsair stuff, you know, on video reviews and stuff. That's the how to put it on thing. And that's a different language. <clears throat> okay, so, um, yeah, Corsair. So, I'm just going to put it back in this little case as soon as I figure out how it goes in there. There, that's how that one goes. Maybe they'd go back to back. Hmm. Maybe they go. I thought they were in there the same way. Yeah. There. I guess you just hit it just right, and then it'll go. Okay. So that's and and it's kind of cool because, uh, you know, the case is red. It's it's black with red lights. Well, red. Uh, Landing strip lights, I call them. Looks like a landing. I always could have thought it looked like an alien landing strip. Uh, but anyway, and it's got uh, blue lights on the power and the reset button. So, um, of course, the box is just red on the processor. It won't be anything, but it'll be silver. But anyway, the memory will, and it has a, a clear plexiglass case. I don't guess I've really showed that really well. Uh, but it has a clear plexiglass case with a red fan, a red LED lighted fan. Fan's clear, but it has LED and red lights. So I match really well. Yeah, I just buy. Actually, I, I just the memory that I saw when I did my searches was a different color, and 
And then I saw, oh, they got all different colors. And I saw, oh, they got red, you know. So was, I wasn't good. I'm glad I noticed it because at first I didn't, you know. But uh, so <clears throat> I'm set up to where I could go to work. But uh, <coughs> I'll just leave them there for now. <coughs> um, I've been sorry I've been coughing a lot today and that's just allergy that's not what made me feel bad that, I mean well allergies make you feel bad but I mean I'm not sick or anything with you know I'm kind of cold or anything you know it probably sounds like it um Go back to this camera now. Okay, now let me switch. Okay, it should be on my S and fifty eight now. All right, now, um, so I wanted to show that first thing, and. Uh, well, I, I keep alluding. I, I probably won't go. I don't know if I'll be tearing down. First, I have to get that 650 watt power supply out of the AS rocket still in there for me doing my testing. And uh, and I finally did decide that I thought that um, I think it was way behind my. I was looking at my preview. Um, I finally did decide if that. Um, it doesn't seem to want to catch up either. I'll reload my, my preview again. Um, I finally did decide after running that, you know, uh, I've been doing lots of research on whether I thought uh, unlisted but same type of processors would work in that AS Rock motherboard. Um, and uh, finally, uh, I, I thought, okay, and I finally decided that it, it crashed a lot and it was getting worse. And I finally decided that it was a power supply and uh, it has and I took it I opened it up and it had a bunch it had even more I think even more swollen caps than before I'm trying to stop that preview and it won't stop and I'm about to have it fit usually you can click in the inner YouTube in any video you can click right in the middle of the video and it'll pause and I'll click like three times and I never did stop <laughs> I finally clicked the actual button and it stopped okay um where was I? Um, yeah, I did a bunch of tests. I found, I finally found uh, the, I finally imparted magic, uh, the, the uh, partition manage, you know, with all kinds of, well, backup, partition editing tools and everything. It's a live disk, Linux distro that I use a lot. I found the, the, uh, the hardware testing app that I wanted, you know, the one that would do, it had like four or five different, uh, benchmark tests in it and everything and it, it you know it, it actually some of the it, it was did surprisingly well that little dual core processor that I, I thought it was the processor was, was really like the low like the cell I always called it the Celeron of AMDs I thought it was kind of really a low end processor but when I kind of looked through the list of you know just the supported processor list for the uh, the ASRock motherboard it didn't um, actually look like it was a real low end but so anyway with that on that 650 watt power supply it ran fine it never did crash uh, I did see a few errors one one time on the kernel some kernel errors but uh, <clears throat> I, I kind of think it might have been because of that uh, I'm going ahead and getting on let's, let's go ahead and get on the desktop now well, first, let me get to where I want to be. Since I'm going to show my orders and stuff, I want to be careful about, you know, what all I show. I'll just show the products I ordered. Okay, so... Um, get on <clears throat> desktop here. Okay, so here's the uh, the page on Am I got them on Amazon, and this is the page, uh, the AMD eight core called the Black Edition. That means that it's already unlocked. I, I finally figured out. I couldn't remember. I remembered that was black was probably supposed to be 
supposedly better than the others. Uh, it's funny, I didn't show that, but right on the box, you know, it says 3.3 .3 to 4.2 gigahertz. Somewhere on the box, let me look at it with my magnifying glass, see if I see it. Yep, it says right on the side of the box, supports up to 5 gigahertz at 8 cores. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's not what they're uh, advertising. Let me get on that endoscope and show you, see if I can show that. I won't try to show all that text since it's, uh, well, you know, the camera's not going to show it all. It says up to 5 gigahertz, so I don't know. Uh, I would kind of think that the... Uh, box would be more accurate than the you know the written out descriptions on amazon but you don't i've never i went and looked on the C cpu rating site or not ratings but you know spec site and it, it showed it just like that you know up to 4.2 gigahertz but um i did see uh, the best information i ran i ran it i found when i was searching is that i saw uh, somebody running my the motherboard i have i can't remember the numbers i'll, I'll, I'll show it in a second uh they got up to 3.6 gigahertz and they didn't say if they went higher and it acted up or what it was just showing what they did so uh anyway that's what i got and i guess that's i guess that's what i paid for it i don't i, I didn't want to show my orders and my order numbers and all that stuff no tell them what all the information's in there that I probably wouldn't want to show, but uh, yeah, and the warranty. Um, of course, you can return it for thirty days and stuff like that. But doesn't say anything that looks like, you know, uh, you better watch out about get if you you know if you have an OEM and stuff. And I didn't see any complaints in the. Uh, reviews about uh, it has you know these all these amd processors have good you know they always have a good review overall reviews and stuff so um <clears throat> i wasn't i'm not worried about it now here's the memory little two pack you know and if that was a, a so um 68.99 i'm pretty sure that's what i paid um, it's been, I haven't, I've had it for a couple of days and I didn't want to open it until I felt good enough to make the video. And the, I went ahead and opened the, uh, processor the day after, I think the day, day, day after, day I got it or day after I got it. But, uh, and this memory has good reviews too and a lot of sales. So, and like I said, uh, Kingston is a memory that I've, I've, you know, I've used, well, I've used it. I don't know. I can't remember if I actually went and bought any. I think I bought some at least once, but I've seen it come in a lot of old machines that I've been given to me and stuff. And it, old machines, and there's, you know, it's still working fine. So, uh, of course, with the newer stuff, it's a little harder to tell because, um, uh, I see here's one. I wouldn't, I, uh, I'll, t Patriot memory, I bought, uh, well, I didn't buy it. I built a machine for somebody. They paid for it, but uh, it was an AMD FX six core and uh, a couple of few, few years ago now, and it came with uh, one bad. It had two memory sticks that came with the kit, and it came with one bad one. And it took it was a real pain figuring it out and get, having it took a I think it took a week or two weeks to get you know get it replaced and everything. They replaced it, but you know that's just crap. If, if if I find out something is gonna is having you know DOA parts, I won't buy that crap. Period. There's no excuse for brand new stuff being bad. <clears throat> so um, let's see. That's even got this memory here. That's the you, you know you don't see that too much. Eighty five percent five stars. So I thought, yep, that's the one I'm going. Th that in my own experience with. It. So I went ahead and got that. So hopefully it'll be good. <clears throat> I want to get together as soon as I can to make sure you know I'm within that return window. And now this I'm still waiting on, and that's just the when I finally figured out that the uh, uh, the video card fan was going bad. Well, actually, it 
it quit making noise and it never did start making noise again once i just cleaned it and sprayed it was cleaned it real good with some electrical cleaner and then uh put sprayed it squirt it with some wd-40 and it started working again working without making noise again but i went ahead and ordered these because i could get three of them for three bucks and of course they're coming from china straight from china so they're taking a, a month or two to get here but uh, i ordered them on the third and uh, they're still saying around the 24th or something of this month it may come you know but uh, i'll have three of them and uh <clears throat> you know i mean you're getting the same quality of product for five to eight ten bucks you know if you get just getting it sooner if you get one of these others so uh, some of these are not the same same size of fans but look <coughs> well there's one for 212 and there's one for dollar 99 i think that's maybe that two Two gore, two goo, two goo R. I think that's what I'm getting. Yeah, two goo R. So see, somebody else is selling them one for two dollars and twelve cents. So, so uh, <coughs> I'll be getting that. <coughs> now then, I don't know if I can go straight to that. Yeah, that, there. I think that might have the support list. I've been there so much lately. Here we go. Didn't even have to go find the link. Okay, now this is my motherboard, and I bought it, um, you know, well, when they were, when it was new, I bought it brand new, and uh, you can't even hardly find them anymore. Uh, but it will go, it will run anything from a dual core to an eight core, and it can run DDR2 and DDR3. Only two, two, two you know, either or. You can't do, you know, mix and match or anything. That's why they're color-coded like that. One color is for DDR2, and the other color is for DDR4, and maximum eight gig. And I originally bought this thinking mom's motherboard was bad. And I thought, well, you know, that'd be perfect because then I can upgrade later. And I didn't, I was about to think I wasn't going to do it because the prices really hadn't gone down enough on the parts. But <clears throat> I finally decided, you know, that it'd be worth it to go ahead and do it now. So uh, they had gone up and then they went back down to, you know, a little more reasonable price. And that right there, that heat sink, I was talking about that in some other video. There's where it tells you the memory that it'll run uh that is the video pro onboard video processor so the, um i was thinking i'd remember I, I, well i kind of went and looked and it's those brand new amd processors that have the video on the cpu chip uh, the fx is i don't guess any of the fx's do but that uh, i know for sure that's the video processor because i went and looked in the map I already had the manual. I just didn't think to open it up. I got a real detailed manual for this motherboard. So uh, I was wondering if that was the VRMs with the heat sink on it. But I didn't, the manual didn't say what, you know, identify the VRMs. But I'm sure they're probably right over there on the right side. Uh, well, they could be over there uh, in the left. But... Uh, <coughs> Uh, if if it start you know if if it uh, with those caps all in there you're gonna have to have some pretty small pieces of heat sink. See, I've got one that's the same color and everything, and I cut it in half and put half of it on my uh, uh, Raspberry Pi, and it worked great. So uh, it, it I mean it, it's not an AS Rock labeled, but it's it was a bad motherboard, and I took it off. I guess I, I probably took it off a video processor, but. Uh, Anyway, I have half of one that I could still cut in more pieces if I needed to, like cut it and to fit on those. And the thing is, is those um, those parts on the right, those that are laying, you know, you can kind of see the legs sticking out. If those are VRMs, then what are those? They look like all the same part. So, and I read somewhere and all that stuff about the VRMs. That's called voltage regulator module. That's what they are. And, that's the concern that people, of course, they're super overclockers. That's their whole thing, you know, to play games, and they're running Windows, not Linux, too. Of course, the heat wouldn't, I don't think the operating system would make much difference in the heat of that. But uh, and the <coughs> but then there's those three. Um, it, I'm going to try overclocking it, and if it, if it runs, you know, 36 or something like that or 38 or 9 or something and I'm not going to worry about it I'll leave, and without overheating I'll leave it if it overheats at 4.2 then uh, <clears throat> you know I'll back it off a little bit but uh, 
anyway, I probably I, I have more. I have a probably at least probably two or three old motherboards that I could get heat sinks off of. That's what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't have to buy them. If you're going to buy them, then I would probably if I was going to have to buy them, if you're spending seven to fifteen to twenty bucks for those those heat sinks. I would just go ahead and buy another motherboard. And <laughs> well, I don't know. In this case, I might not. But if I was starting from scratch. I would just spend the extra 15, 20 bucks for, you know, motherboard that would handle it. I wouldn't buy this, a motherboard like this one. I did pay, only pay 50 bucks for this one, but you know, I'd go ahead and pay 75 or 80 bucks for one. That's what I'm trying to say. And, uh, you know, so anyway, <clears throat> um, I just wanted to catch up there on that. And what I think I'll do still all hooked up so let me get over here i hooked up my you know i for i got a uh can't show it to you well i could but this is it aimed at my monitor a 10 inch uh tablet it's an <laughs> this is an eight core tablet with four gig of ram and i got it for 100 bucks well i could show you i wish I could show you what tablet it is no well let me go get back on my desktop here Anyway, I'm going to boot up the uh, the AS Rock and kind of do a last check and, and back up a few files. Make sure there's not any files that don't need backing up before I tear it apart <laughs> to get the to get. Because what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm taking the motherboard out. I'm taking the, of course, the heat. The power supply goes. Um, goes to mom's machine anyway. But, uh, oh, yeah, if I'm going to go to my orders, I need to go somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Well, now, here's the, uh, I was talking about the CPU cooler that I have. I'll show it. And I'll show the motherboard. Uh, I'll just show all my parts while I'm at it here. There we go. Okay, now. <clears throat> um, now, here's the tablet. It's called LLL Trade, and I've seen that there is... When I bought it, it had better star, a lot better stars than that, because I really don't buy stuff that's even three stars, much less under three stars. But uh, um, evidently, I... I looked out because this one is great. It's just fine, but I've seen a lot of when I looked at them the other day. But it was the, the same price. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was exactly the same price. It's uh, <clears throat> and it's funniest. Uh, well, let me go on down here and look at the. Yeah, see, boy, that has really changed even since like a week or two ago when I looked at it. But see, I wouldn't have bought it if it had looked that bad in the reviews. But I noticed people say. Um, Can't get Kindle to download. <laughs> Sometimes people give things bad reviews because they just don't know how to use the product. Don't what what Kindle? <laughs> I guess there's a Kindle app, but uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna came cracked, cam cracked. But, I mean, you know, people don't go to the trouble even write reviews that much. But you can see a lot of one stars. Anyway, the last time I looked, I saw. Um, <clears throat> did it. Uh, you know, they were. I know one thing. The, the screen, of course, you, you know. One of the one of the ways they make things cheaper is use plastic screens. So if you drop them, the screen will break. I've got my phones that I make my videos with are like that, and I haven't. I've been careful with them, and I've been careful with this. But uh, one cool thing about it, it has two. Um, let's see what's that? Yeah, two SIM card slots. It can be a two. It could be two mobile phones. Then it has an SD card slot on there somewhere. Two cameras. I was gonna look at. I was gonna go to straight to the specs. That, that right there, it's all jumbled up and hard for me to read. I was going to the 
sometimes it's easier to read them in the comparison page. Or there we go. Well, here's the comparison page. But this is a 10, uh, 10, 10 point one inch tablet, unlocked. So uh, it, it worked with quite a few different carriers, phone carriers. Um, so it's it's a phablet. It's not just a tablet. It's a phone and a tablet. Um, four gigabyte of RAM. It's got sixty four gig of flash installed. Um, she she probably go a long time. I, I never used that up. Wi-Fi works great. Uh, I've you know it's I've been I've been I well, I will I work I used it every day for two weeks before I gave it to her setting it up for uh, two point five gigahertz um, and uh, it's got a two megapixel and an eight megapixel camera in it. You know what? It's got way better cameras than that in it. I just saw that a while ago or something. It's got a five megapixel uh, selfie camera and a ten or fifteen megapixel forward camera. I saw it just a while ago in something. Uh, maybe I'm goofy. Anyway, the camera is you can see the difference. Uh, you know, compared to mine, mine are five megapixel. Um, <clears throat> well, the video is less than five. It'll do five megapixel on still shots, but like less than something a little less than that on video and it's 3g not 4g you know on the on the wi-fi wire not wi-fi wireless um, gsm network stuff you know and let's see what else micro usb tf card slot mm, you know this basic stuff um i was hoping mom mom hasn't hasn't gotten a sim card and, and using hadn't started using it for a phone she's uh i keep trying to i mean i ex expected her to either do well there's you know you could she's like, well, it's too big well i said well she uses has a real big purse she could just carry it in that purse and get her i said well, we'll get you a she doesn't hear good so she really needs to use the ear set you know like a like a bluetooth ear set so we can get one of those, or if you don't want to do that, then we can just. She already has a Bluetooth speaker that she, I got her. She can set it right by her, and and she can understand the TV better with it because it's uh, the frequencies that it puts out. <clears throat> um, you know, it doesn't have anything really high or really low. It's just, it's just mostly mid range, and that's where all that's where a human voice is is in the mid range. So, so anyway, move on to back to my what I'm talk, supposed to talk about here. Okay, here's what I got, and that was. Actually, when I got it, it was nine ninety five or something. It was ten bucks. Uh, but this is a decent little. Uh, it's not too loud. I put it on there and I took it back off because once I cleaned hers up, uh, well, it turned out hers wasn't the thing making the noise. I just couldn't just dis couldn't tell the difference. I forgot to check the uh, fan on the video card. You know, it was hiding underneath the bottom of the video card and. When I put the new one on there, it was quiet for about a, a minute or two, and then it started getting loud again, just like it was before, and I was like, crap. But this fan itself is great. Um, hopefully it'll last, you know, but this is the one I'm going to go ahead and use on the new upgrade now because it's, it's got a really big heat sink, and that, that, of course, the bigger the heat sink, the more it can, you know, dissipate heat. And it's got really good reviews and everything, so... Uh, so it should be all right. <clears throat> and then here's, and I got her a two, two terabyte. She had a 250 gigabyte hard drive and it was getting full. So I got her a two terabyte Barracuda drive and I've showed this before. And you know, I've formatted, I've got Fedora 27 on it right now. I'm going to start over <clears throat> uh, since it's a whole new processor and motherboard and everything. I'm just going to redo it. And I had originally planned since it was the same processor, same everything I was going to, I was going to, I had divided it up in three partitions and I was going to have Fedora 27, Fedora 14 still have that on there, <clears throat> and then I was going to have a backup partition. <laughs> I think I'll just read, I'm just going to redo it, divide it in half, and have half, you know, half Fedora 27 and half um, backup because I don't think Fedora 14 would, uh, it, it may run okay on this, but. Uh, 
because they are AMD, both AMD processors and everything, but I just, it probably would run fine, but it wouldn't be using, I don't think it would be, Fedora 14 is so old, I don't think it could use in the apps on there. I don't think they could use the extra cores, you know. So I think it's just taking up space for nothing, really. Cause I don't really think she'd ever use it again. And I can always put, the, I can see her. I, now I'm going to have her motherboard, her processor, her memory, all that that I can put into another box. I just, I just don't have another, I just don't have another good power supply right now. But later on, maybe I'll, you know, I'll put it into another box. I've got a box that's just right, be just right for that. It just has, uh, doesn't have a power supply. Uh, I've got some other machines with power supplies in them that are, less power, you know like they're single core but the power supply doesn't have that four pin connector that i need for the motherboard you know i may look into <clears throat> like seeing if it be uh if it would if there's enough amps in one of those uh molex connectors then i could just cut off a molex connector and put a four pin in its place actually it would be two because you got to have two 12 volts and two grounds <clears throat> so i'd have to do that with two molex wire you know wire sets um and, then, and but I, I if it doesn't have enough uh, amperage wattage whichever way you want to well they go by wattage well they they always talk wattage with computer power supply so if it doesn't have enough wattage then uh, wouldn't work uh, so anyway um but then that would mean that machine that i took it out of, of course doesn't work anymore but that wouldn't be that big of a deal um so um <clears throat> get out of this now okay um yeah let me just go on and go back now so we'll go back to the tablet and it, of course it's still not uh, still looks pretty fuzzy and everything but i'm not so sure if it looks any better than my regular cameras uh as far as shooting the monitor with it um uh, so that I could show, you know, in the medium while I'm booting things up. Let me boot that thing up. Oh, I got to, uh, well, I've got my long stick in my hand. I'll go ahead and switch over on my KVM switch. There we go. <coughs> and... Since the AS Rock is still all hooked up and ready to go, I haven't touched it. <coughs> I'm just going to go ahead and uh, there it goes. I'm going to check my stream while it's booting up. Go ahead and boot up into Fedora 26 on the AS Rock for, I don't know if it'll be the, it'll be the last time for a while because I, I don't want to run that power supply on that anymore that I'm afraid is going out. I'm afraid those. It might pop some caps and, and short out the motherboard, you know, when they popped. I'm, I'm afraid. I've, I've read some, read or, or seen videos or whatever. I don't remember where I, the source, but uh, I've seen some horror stories about, mostly in reviews, I guess, reading them on Amazon and stuff. Um, when I was looking for power supplies, I've read about them. Uh, you know, popping and poof, go, go, making the magic smoke and burning up your motherboard, you know, ruining the motherboard. So I don't want that happening to uh, any motherboards that I got, you know, even an old one. So uh, I don't want to risk it. So it's the only other pow only power supply I got with that four pin connector for the main power for the motherboard. For the, well, I was going to say for the processor, but I think that is what it, what it does is power the processor. I'm not sure though. So, um, so I will be, I'll have, but I'll have, uh, once I get this all tore down and, and then get the motherboard out, the power supply, the 650 watt power supply, then I'll put that in mom's box, put her new eight core processor and her eight gig of memory, and she'll have a fastest machine any of us has ever had i'm gonna be really jealous because I'm, I'm running a quad core with four gig of ram <laughs> but 
that's fine maybe I'll, I'll get me something what i really kind of set my sights on now originally several years ago i wanted w what i'm building for myself even more you know i wanted like minimum 16 gig of ram and everything let's see may have to get out the password i don't know if i can remember it i guess i might get it out Yeah, I don't would have never got that one right. <clears throat> I was close but way off. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go open up Team Viewer once it gets booted up good here. And uh And then I'll, I, you know, I can show on the remote desktop. <coughs> I think that this camera does show a monitor better than the other ones do. Seems to me that it does. Looking at my previews and stuff. And I, I don't have it, uh, you know, usually with my cameras, uh, I try even harder to get it. Uh, I don't know where those papers are. Oh, here they are. That's probably where they are right here. Um, i got to write down that password before I take off and go over there. I guess I should just grab another. I had uh, the uh, ID number stays the same. The password automatically changes, and I had the ID number written down on a sheet, and I just kept each time I would get a new password, I'd write it down, and then I would scratch it out when I was when it was changed. So, uh, but I'm not signing that paper, that sticky note. Probably put it back up in my big stack of sticky notes. Evidently, I did. So, I will. I had a feeling I was wasting time. Okay. Can't write. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Yes, right for door twenty six. Team viewer. Okay. I do remember, yeah, I, I remember that I had to run out of room to write any more passwords, so. 
<clears throat> and I could start flip it over and start doing it on the back, but then that just then you can't stick it on the de on the uh, keyboard tray and have it there. Okay, um, make sure I got that right. Okay, now let's get back over there. Okay, now back on my. Let me get on my desktop. There it is. Teamviewer is the slowest oh, app to open up. I think it, I guess when you open it up, it starts up that wine uh, emulator for it to make it work. I thought it was, originally thought it was, uh, you know, set up to run in Linux, but. Evidently, well, I know. Well, no, evidently, I know. I've seen all the processes. It runs on a wine. A wine. It starts up wine server, a Windows emulator. Uh, <coughs> so it's a Windows app still, but it runs and links through the Windows emulator. Now, what I was thinking I would do, I guess I'll plug it up right now. Plug up my backup drive. Let me get that plugged up. I had trouble finding it. I mean, trouble plugging it in. I couldn't find the cable and laid it down amongst other things. <clears throat> okay, so we should be okay. Yeah, there it is. It mounted up. So, okay, so, um, let's put this up here out of the way. <clears throat> Sticky note. <clears throat> okay, so first thing I want to do then is uh, oops, I'll go ahead and make it full screen so that I won't. Uh, I just go ahead and use Crusader to check. I don't think there's very much files in here at all, but uh, well, not in mine anyway. Now in mom's. I had just about, I think I had put everything of hers in here. And I was ready. I think I even had the email set up. I was ready for her to use it. And then I decided that it was, uh, not going to work. You know, that the power supply was going out. Synchronize right to left. This is probably, or may have already been done, but. Uh, I had thought I would. Uh, <coughs> it's kind of weird. S some, ver some versions of. Uh, 
Fedora, I guess some versions, some versions of, I don't know if this is a different, this is for 26. Okay. This is way newer, but my Fedora 23, if I, uh, just hit, you know, sync directories, uh, then it, it, it goes real fast. I think it only compares the folders. Maybe there's some settings you can do. I don't know, but see, like now it's, uh, it's already compared 500 something folders. And it's going to take forever because this is my backup drive. It's got a jillion folders. So I'll select everything, right click, and say synchronize selected. And evidently, my Fedora 23, it's doing that. by See how fast that is? By default. But it's not that, it's not, I don't understand it. I think it's kind of like remembering or something what happened last time in my, in my Fedora 23. But in this one, Fedora 26, and I, I can't remember in Fedora 27. <coughs> I haven't done it recently <coughs> enough to remember. I'm going to put that in alphabetical order so I can find them quicker and easier. And um, you can either get in the folders you want to synchronize and like click the icon or go up there to tools, or you can... Uh, I mean, like, you see what's so much to go through. It takes too long. And uh, I used to do this all the time, kind of by default. I would just do it real quick. But, well, it got to, well, even in Fedora 23, sometimes Crusader would lock up or crash when you do that. And sometimes I mess up and I click the wrong thing, too, and try to do it fast. But, uh, no, that's not even worth it. That's just, I probably just downloaded that. Now, yeah, those screenshots might be something that. <clears throat> that uh, I want to back up. They've probably already been backed up. <coughs> I don't know. I guess really the thing. <laughs> Darn it, I can't quit. Oh. I don't have a public folder even in there. Let's see. Yeah, that's in the base. XFCE settings. Hmm. I guess I, I probably put it in downloads. So I probably did. I don't know. I may. Oh, yes. Yeah, There's nothing to do. So it was already in there like that. I guess I decided I didn't want it in. Uh, I didn't want to make a public folder in there. In my backup drive, I could, but the reason I put that in public is so that I could share it uh, on the network. No templates, no videos. Yeah, I don't have much. Now, I just remember, I just, the more I think about all this, the more I'm thinking, okay, Thunderbird is there, but, uh, I think that's probably not been synced. I don't think I've ever opened I might have opened it, but I haven't ever used it. Um, <clears throat> this is my username. Now, see, Mom, I have a username for Mom, but I can't do hers without logging into her user. I'm trying to think, do I need to do that? Because once I take this apart, um, you know, can't back it up then. Uh, well, unless I put the hard drive in, like, on, you know, another machine or in my USB adapter or something. But um, that wasn't what I had in mind. I had in mind just taking it apart, but then I got to thinking, well, I, I, I kind of on a whim decided to see what mom's, uh, install that IP web panel on mom's tablet and see how much, how, if it looked a lot better. I actually have it set on its highest resolution. And it worked fairly well on a, uh, except for it was when I would move it around, it would, uh, 
be slow to focus, you know. Uh, but since I thought, well, since I'm not moving it around and I'm just aiming it st at the monitor, I'm going to leave it like that and see how it does. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it'll be that much better. And the thing is, I'm also that means now I have, you know, one audio camera, one au one camera with audio, and then two cameras streaming video, and then and then mom's that's three, and it's also at a higher resolution because I'm doing 720p on mine. Because they can't, and I think I was thinking it was my network couldn't handle it, and I finally realized it's not my network. My Wi Fi is super fast now, you know, like 1200 megabits or something. It's the phones. They can only, they, they kind of, they just random, randomly change, but the bet, they'll go from 15 megabits to 35, 45. They'll stay in there a lot of the time, and then some once in a while they'll get up to 75 megabits. So that's, and her, and I got to thinking, well, her tablet is new, brand new, and I'm, and I'm sure it's, a, and I know because I looked at it before, it's a fat, much faster. I mean, it'll stay up in the 65, 75 range most of the time. So uh, I thought it just might be able to stream a better quality video. So I'm trying, that's why I'm doing that today. Of course, right now I'm not even using it, but, um, Okay, so everything I need backed up out of here is backed up. It already was. Okay. But. <clears throat> uh, I guess I should go into Mom's. There's more updates. Well, there's been plenty of updates. I'm not going to click on it. Because I think what I'm going to do is just let uh, log out and log back in. Um. Yeah, that'll mean losing my team viewer connection, and, but uh, that's okay. Am I running that in portable mode? Let's see. Let me get up here and. No, it's installed. Okay. So maybe I can just uh, open it up in mom's username. <coughs> it wouldn't show up in the app search if it was uh, in portable mode okay uh yeah i think what i'll do is uh use the log out see okay, i've done everything i need to do yeah i can leave the the, the backup drive in there but this is a good system here I, it's a shame to uh you know, not have it usable. But this one, <clears throat> all this one would need is, uh, I'd put it in another box because I don't like this box, but uh, all it would need is a uh, good power supply. So this is, would be a dual core AMD, this one here. See, it's going to still have its uh, memory and everything. It's not going to be missing anything but a power supply. Uh, and then, well, I mean, it could be run in this box. It could be fine, but... I'm going to take everything out because there's one thing I hate about this box. It's got an extra cover over the DVD, and I don't care how many times you mash that button, it won't open half the time, you know, more than half the time. It drives you nuts. And it has a SD card reader built into it, but uh, the, pre, the, uh, the people I got it from, evidently they tried to jam the wrong thing in the wrong way, you know, the wrong place, and they... Uh, I, I got to looking at it with a magnifying glass and a light, and they, there was a bunch of pins bent over and touching each other, and it evidently just shorted that whole, all that hardware out. It won't work. I, I've straightened them all out and got it to where I could put cards in there, but it won't work. So, uh, but anyway, this could be. Uh, well, it needs the power. It needs a good power supply, and and I prefer to put it in another box it could be a good system and then mom's system mom's uh, motherboard and all that actually it would run perfect with her hard drive and and uh fedora 14 it'd run real good but it would be outdated so as far as surfing the web or anything it'd be great for everything else you know all the other apps anyway i'll deal with all that later after i get her uh getting hungry i'm getting pretty darn hungry is it just 2.30? My, 
I'm I'm trying to look at the time on my laptop over there. Well, this says it's one thirty one, and then this one says it's two thirty. What's going on with that? Huh? Let's get out of the full screen and then <clears throat> see what time it really is. I bet one of them. Probably this door 26 hasn't been set to the new time, you know, the uh, when we had time change. 2.31. The laptop's wrong. <clears throat> what is wrong with that laptop? It's all kind of crazy things. I guess it doesn't have, hadn't been set. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do it from right here. I'll just log out, and then I'll lose my, you know, my remote desktop but that's fine I won't restart I'm just gonna log out there we go okay now <clears throat> switch to the KVM switch so that I can uh, log in as her user Oh, oh well. I forgot to switch my camera. <clears throat> I know I was forgetting something. <laughs> but I'll just go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> it didn't work right, though. The video's the wrong size. Let me go ahead and uh, I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, I'll switch to the camera. <coughs> okay, now. Um, get back on there and you'll see what I'm talking about. This, um, see, it's way too, the resolution is like, you know, it ain't 1920 by 1080. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, uh, restart. This one is real, you have to be, like when you're booting it up, if you don't have that KVM switch on it. <coughs> but I thought just logging out and logging back in wouldn't mess it up, but it did. <coughs> when I boot this up, if I don't remember to be on that machine on my KVM switch, then it will do that every time. <coughs> so, um, so it's evidently, well, I started to say it's about the video card, but not necessarily... Or the video onboard video, <clears throat> um, that's the onboard video and the astronaut motherboard. It, I guess, it's uh, just tied. I don't. It's the operating system, I guess, more than anything, because like my Fedora fourteen, I, I saved what resolution I wanted it to be, and um, and it stays that resolution whether I'm on that, you know, whether I have the uh, thing is when the KVM switch is on not switch to that machine it it emulates uh, up to a certain resolution you know VGA resolution but when you're when you're not on it but when you're on it then it sees actually sees your monitor and sets itself to your monitor that's what I'm trying to say um, <coughs> checking my stream as I'm going here <coughs> so <coughs> there we go. Uh, <coughs> anyway, you got to you got to get the particulars right to get it all working right. Now it's just fine. So, oh, yeah, I got 
I got team viewer right up there in her. Actually, hers is on a small. Uh, I guess I, well, mine they're probably on the same resolution, but uh, I didn't. I guess I didn't change her font as big as I, you know, every, as big as I have on mine. Because <clears throat> I can see that everything looks smaller. Either that, or it's just her toolbar, to her workspace thing at the top. Not workspace. Uh, I can't think of the name of the thing up there at the top, but anyway. How to be another new password. Is it the same? Yeah, the same ID, but a new password. <clears throat> okay. Now I can go get back on my machine and do the... Uh, Oops, I got lucky and hit it, and then I hit it the first time, and then I switched it because uh, it never works that good. I don't expect it. Now, it saved that password, but that's not good anymore. Whoops. Not sure. <clears throat> Thing is, there may really be files. Uh, it may just be some screenshots and stuff, but I really don't know what I have done in this thing. So it kind of pains me to be doing it right now during the middle of my video, but it just finally dawned on me <clears throat> this is really important to do this. <clears throat> okay, documents. Backup drive. <clears throat> Let's say it's already loaded. No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, I want to go to her backup. Not to my. I was about ready to start syncing that to mine. Well, that would have been a mess. And I don't have one <clears throat> separate for the... Well, I wouldn't want it separate anyway. Okay. Yeah, I have a full... <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I'll get in, I'll get in each... I'll start to say, you can just... Uh, like right click on the documents folder and like you stay in the you know the base I won't say root directory but what kind of, <coughs> kind of the root of the directory of this backup then I could just do <coughs> them that way but I think it's usually better to <coughs> get in each folder you, you, you're less likely to make big mistakes that way Documents. Well, this one's got extra junk up at the top of it. it. Makes it hard to read. Now, in this case, and all the all the icons are different too. Synchronize folders. Okay. Okay. Make sure to right to left. Rescue. Uh, rescue. Recurse subfolders. And that's all I need. Okay. Compare. <clears throat> now this time I had to let it go through. It's not. She has. Plenty of folders, but not any near, were near as many as I had in my backup over there. Yeah, see, there we go. Nothing to do. Okay. Let me make sure that my stream is. Well, I'll just let it reload while I'm working here. Okay. <clears throat> See, like what I can do, like I can go to downloads to see what's in there. Okay. I can go to downloads and say right and do right click. Thing is, if you do a slip, you could like delete the folder. Well, you I always have it set to ask, but 
Synchron yeah, I'm not going to do it because I'm afraid I'll get them in the wrong folder. Downloads. Downloads. That way you can't accidentally get them in the wrong. Just make sure you're in each same folders and then synchronize, compare. <coughs> um, it's slower doing it this way than if you use Lucky Backup, but uh, you know what? I think I have Lucky Backup profiles set up for doing this to the backup browser. Nothing to do. Okay. Well, this is not taking very long. I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. Documents, downloads. There's a backup in there, even. Why is there a backup? No. Well, let's just check it. I don't think there should be anything new in there, but <clears throat> by the time I got a lucky backup opened up and figuring it out, if I have the setups right, I could probably be done. So I'll just do it in here. A lot more folders than I expected. That is one thing that is good about a backup a usb backup drive you can write read and write to it so much faster than you can over the network now, you know usb and i'm i'm usb 2.0 i don't have anything that's 3.0 but it's way faster than well i mean unless if i was going between uh, two you know machines that had gigabit ethernet then well that would be faster but <coughs> i've only got what do i have Machine I'm streaming from has a giganet, gigabit adapter. AS Rock has a gigabit adapter. And I did put Cat5 E cables on them. Why did it close? I was talking, and, but it should have. Uh, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Maybe it actually did have something to sync. And I'm going to do it again because I don't know. Uh. So, <clears throat> it might actually be, well, I'm, I don't have a network, networking set up to do it. I used to do everything over the network, everything, <clears throat> but, uh, because 100 megabits was fast, you know, pretty fast <laughs> years ago, but, uh, <clears throat> so I, I didn't have a USB backup drive either, so. It's really more convenient in a lot of ways once you have your networking set up to do it over the network. But it is can be if you're doing a bigger, bigger, you know, a lot more files like we have, everybody has nowadays. Then I guess what it did is it synced a few files and then closed. Uh, I just wasn't expecting any to be syncing, but it did. Documents I already did documents. Did documents and downloads. Oh, I should be looking over here for the ones that have stuff in them. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, music. <coughs> okay. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, her newest Thunderbird, I'm thinking about all this, as, yeah, nothing to do as I go. Her newest Thunderbird uh, will be in the, lap the laptop she's using now. But, you know, I kept going back and forth from one machine to the other doing stuff. And so I want to make sure I'm not losing uh, uh, anything I, I probably isn't anything real important but whatever that backup there was something in the backup that took a little bit to write there so there's stuff in the public folder stuff that i was trying to share i guess there is one thing i think you can do that uh Stuff in the public folder you could share with other users as well, like when you have more than one user on the machine. I think. I think it says you can. Templates. 
but it seems to me I remember having trouble doing it. I think that's already been synced. Looks like it. Yep. Now the videos. Oh, I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to say there may be... I made her a bunch of videos uh, when I built this, originally built her Fedora 14 system. Uh, instructional videos. And so I was going to say, oh, there may be a bunch of stuff in there. There's a 1XP Pro. Oops, what did I do? Went into videos. VirtualBox VNs. Let's see. Let's see what's in that folder. I think it's just been copied over there, but it has never been, yeah, had never been used or anything. If it had been used while it was in there, it would have got probably changed. And I was like, well, do I really want to overwrite the backup with that? Okay, so actually that didn't take so long. And the Thunderbird, what I'm getting at it, when I'm jabbering along here, I'm not going to do Thunderbird because this won't help. I don't even know if I opened up Thunderbird. The one I care about is the one that's in that laptop that she's using. It's the one I will want to back up to the USB drive. And, uh, oops. <clears throat> and if there, you know, anything... That, and I would overwrite the one on the backup with it, get the newest emails and everything. The reason that that's really important is because uh, with our ISP, uh, they, they did implement, um, they called it mobile email instead of calling it, uh, <coughs> um, now I can't think. Uh, anyway, we're using POP3. With with everything else we use, um, oh, darn it, uh, IMAP. There it is right there. I thought of it. I guess must have saw it out of the corner of my IMAP. Say like Gmail, we use IMAP. Everything else we use IMAP. But with our, yeah, POP3. Pop and, uh, and the thing is, is it won't sync across machines, you know. So uh, I have to do it manually um, and, be, and try to keep track of which one's the newest, you know. And the way I do it is by copying the profile. Like there's two in there because there's always a default profile. I don't know which one's which. Uh, when you build, you know, when you set it, when you install, uh, you can usually tell by the size of stuff nothing else but when you install <coughs> you can usually the dates usually will tell you right away but of files and stuff usually the date of the profile but those are three three and three four so I don't know why they're uh, so close together but anyway <coughs> um, I think I did open it up. You know, I think I installed. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to open it up now. It'll mess things up. Uh, now that's the thing you got to watch out about. Don't uh, want, don't uh, open up Thunderbird. Uh, it's liable to. I, I try to always set it to uh, don't delete anything off the server, and unless you manually delete it, you know, on the machine you're on. But what it'll do is get new mail. Uh, let's see. Now I can't remember. Yeah, I think if you get new mail, it won't leave it on the server. It might. I can't remember now. Uh, that would be the thing you really wouldn't want is to get the new mail on this machine, and then it doesn't show up on the one she's actually using. So, yeah, you don't want to open up Thunderbird in another machine for s several reasons. <laughs> so... Uh, Gosh, I can't even find my little buttons. So, yeah, I put everything of hers into this one. Stuff that, you know, that really doesn't have anything to do with the newer versions of Fedora, stuff from the Fedora 14. <coughs> but 
that's it. Let's see. Well, let me look through here one more time to make sure. Yeah. Firefox. Uh, I didn't put the. I finally realized. Oh, dot Mozilla. Mozilla. I don't think there would be any bookmarks in here that would matter. Yeah, they're so small. I haven't. I didn't. I didn't ever. I never did. I, evidently, I didn't even import uh, her bookmarks into this one before I gave up on it so there we go yeah that would be the other thing that I'd want to uh, pay attention to okay so good good all brand new setup system but it won't be usable unless I get another power supply for it and of course I'm the only one that likes to have a bunch of, you know, bunch of, I don't put all my files in all my systems. I just set them up for different purposes, and sometimes it's just for experimenting and stuff and trying things out. But, uh, this one would be okay. Uh, this is XFCE. That's why it's run, running okay with Fedora 26 because it's not made desktop. It's not fantastic, but it's it's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. Let's get another. I'm trying to think. Am I done with it? I'm ready to shut it down. Yeah. See, I had Thunderbird up and ready to go. I had all everything all ready to go. Yeah, I was just about ready to hand it over to her when I finally decided it was not going to work. And see, this one, I had already built it uh, for myself. So I had it installed. I had ran my install scripts and installed pretty much all the apps that are on my system on here. And then I just went ahead and added her username and her emails and stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so I think this is going to be it. going to shut it down. Now, I guess I'll go ahead and close Team Viewer. Okay, so I'm really getting hungry. So let's see, it's two fifty-four, almost three. But I've been up since about two two thirty this morning. So even though I've, it took me a long time to get going because of adding that other camera back there. Uh, that's that by the way if that if you're wondering what that is that is my mom's 10 inch tablet sitting on a music stand uh, I happen to have a music stand in here I kept it uh, I don't actually read music or anything but they can be handy I had I had some mic stands and one, at least one music stand I don't know I had a whole bunch but I got them for my friend when his dad passed away his dad had a bunch of cool stuff and uh most of it, I had another friend who was setting up a recording studio, and I took it over there and let him use it, and then I ended up never getting any of it back years ago. But uh, I didn't really have room to keep the stuff is one of the reasons why I did that. But uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> I was able to set that up there and get it aimed, you know, somewhat <laughs> not perfect well see the thing is if i move it straight behind me then you'd be looking at the top of my head that's why i have it off to the side and not perfectly centered on the monitor but uh, 
Okay, I see if I switch to it. See, that's why it's like that. Because uh, I've got it over over my right shoulder. I don't know. I, I didn't try it. I was just trying to get it. I just was kind of looking over, you know, over my, my standing back there looking and I thought, I don't think that'll work. It might would have worked as long as I don't raise up, you know. <clears throat> I'll try it next time if I, well, if I use that again, but because it actually uh, lines up better than I thought it would. Uh, that music stand is just tall enough to work. Uh, so if I was to bring it on over to the left some more and get uh, it, it, well, I think it looks skewed, turned a little bit because, let's see, where's my head? Okay, yeah, see where my head's, see, my head's off to the side. Okay, now this is what I was thinking. See, if I put my other hand on my head, okay, now you see my hand sticking in there? That's where my head is. So that's, the I can't, no, I can't do that. I thought I was right about that. See, it's that's why it's off to the right. Because that's my hand laying on my head and sticking out to the side. My head will be right in the middle of the screen if I moved. And that's as tall as that thing will get. So you either got to be, and whenever I use my other camera that has the mic stand, which will go really high, then you're skewed looking down on it, you know, but it's behind, but it's straight on. And so this way it's skewed to the, off to the side a little bit. And it's still kind of, you know, it's still pretty darn fuzzy, but I do think it's probably, uh, I don't know if it's any better, actually, than, than you when I'm using my cameras. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't remember, I still, so I'm, I'm looking at the, I'm the thinking of the specs of that camera and thinking of what, what did I see? I was in the thing itself, you know, on it, and I saw the camera specs specs somewhere and they they were I was like wow it's that much you know so I don't know because it said what did it say eight yeah it said two and eight on the on the website where I bought it on Amazon of course those things sometimes or sometimes are wrong you know they they say something's better than it is and sometimes <laughs> just about as often they'll say it's worse than it is you know the specs so so anyway, my whole round and round point is, I think, even though everything's all set up, uh, and I, I think I'm gonna need, I just need to go ahead and eat my supper. It's supper time for me. By the time I eat supper, I will probably be too tired to go back to work. I guess I can leave everything set up, just turn off my cameras and everything. That's what I usually do anyway. Leave everything set up, turn off the cameras, and then if I have lots of energy, I could just grab that machine out from underneath there and throw it up on the bench and go to work. Uh, but if not, then I'll put everything away. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Because I could, uh, I could get that one apart. I do not. I wouldn't even try starting to put all that into the other box. That, that's it behind me there, <coughs> Mom's box. Yeah, it's rock is down there in my rack. <coughs> be a bit tricky to get it out with everything all set up too but because uh, I have to get behind it and unplug the, uh, the KVM and the USB and all that I mean not the KVM well the KVM USB cable and the KVM VGA cable going to the KVM switch so. okay well finally I got started anyway uh, so everything's backed up <coughs> and I can take it apart and what I think I'll do is I um, see that the S-Rock motherboard is going to go in mom's machine the uh, I wish I'd thought of that I think uh, I think I know I have at least one machine that has a, a laser what do you call it light scribe a laser writer that'll write on CDs, and I've never tried, and DVDs, I've never tried to write labels, and I think that's the one. I think that one will do it. I think I, I think the reason I never tried it is because you got to have, well, no, well, I just didn't ever want to fool with it because I had Windows 7 on it for a long time. Uh, I think the software to do it, 
with that drive it had to be Windows software, I think. But uh, I was looking at all my drives a couple of weeks ago because I wanted to. I was thinking, if I've got one that'll do it, I'm going to do that. You know, when I uh, I was burning a CD and uh, <clears throat> with music on it, and uh, I couldn't find one that would do it. And then, and finally, just the other day, I thought, you know what? I think that's the one. And you can't see it. I think it right on the you know the little tiny writing on it. It says light scribe, but I, you can't see it unless it's open because of the cover and all that stuff. So anyway, I, like I was saying earlier, that it has an extra door that won't open, you know, and, and a button that touch that pushes the button on the physical drive itself, and uh, it never works right. It drives you crazy. So I'm going to take all that out of there, and then. If I reassemble that into a machine again, then it'll be in a different box with another good good power supply. And of course, I'm, that's the only one of all the boxes I've got. That's the only one that's got that crazy kind of door that I can think of, anyway. Um. So anyway. Um, but yeah, once I get so those parts will just uh, since I have to take you know. I have to take the processor off the motherboard because I'm using the, the SROC motherboard for Mom's machine. I have to take the memory out of it. So there's no no reason to really leave the rest of the stuff in that box. I might forget that I have a good DVD drive in it, you know, and stuff like that. So, so I'm just going to take everything out of there that's any good. And then uh, then later on, maybe I'll be able to reassemble her those parts to, in another box with a good power supply and then mom's uh, motherboard and memory and all that be in an even yet another box with with a good power supply so um that'll be that'll be on down the road because after i get this one done i've been putting off uh i've reformatting mine i mean i'm I only got i'm only able to use half the space because i had it divided up in a dual boot with windows 7 and door uh, 23 and i'm out of space basically uh, i keep having to delete stuff every time i make videos i have to delete every one i back them up and then delete them off my this driver else it would be you know it had been unusable for a long time ago <clears throat> but uh but just like taking screenshots and stuff just and you know just small things or just creeping away it was 18 gigabytes left now it's like just under 16 i think i saw it at 16 and yesterday or day before <clears throat> and uh just you know like the cash from running the machine will start dragging it filling it up and i'll have to go run cleaner apps and stuff to get what well, it'll, it'll fill up the root partition it's only got three uh gigabyte of space left on it that's where i'm really in trouble big time uh, I had to get down to 1.9 gigabytes, and you know, sometimes some things like I can't. For one thing, I can't record audio with Audacity on that this machine here because the cache will fill it up and lock it up. <laughs> it happened to me, and uh, so anyway, this machine needs to be reformatted, and I don't need Windows 7 on it anyway. If I did, yeah, I got to think. Well, I could, uh, I could put, I could. If I think I could put another hard drive in it, I think the power supply could handle it. It's got the brick power supply, like a laptop. I think maybe it could handle it. Uh, and now that I can use mom's hard drive, like one hard, uh, use hers, for, use hers for um, when I just I just realized. Oh, if I did that, I need to back up. I still want to back up all her uh, her old system uh, to an image file. But anyway, I could maybe use her, her hard drive for, say, Windows 7 and then the one that's already in here in this Lenovo i5 for, you know, for door 27. <clears throat> and have two hard drives and to still be dual boot, but don't set two hard drives. I'd be fine in any regular desktop, but in this one, since it's a little bitty box with, a, you know, not even, not even a real power supply, I'm not even sure if it could handle another hard drive in it. Uh, there's a space in there where you could put one, but I'm not sure if it could actually handle it. I, I haven't had it apart in a long time, so I don't even remember. I'm sure it has at least one more SATA spot on the motherboard. I think. 
it might not, because <laughs> it does have a DVD drive in it. Okay, well anyway, I'm planning as I sit here making videos, trying to try to remember what I was going to do. So I'm going to go eat, and I may think there's kind of a slim chance I'll be back this evening. I think it'll be tomorrow or before, I, as long as everything goes well and I feel still feel okay um, before I'll be doing any more work. But anyway, got to do something today, and that's cool. All right. Thank you.